Right, so in the last video, I showed you this circuit and talked about the calculations and we did I did it on the calculator in the video we came out with this equation so we came out with that equation where Rn is the resistor at any given point and N is the number attached to that resistor and if you do it in the calculator you just have to do it again and again and I wanted to show you how to do it in Python because then you can put it in a loop and you only have to do it once and it gets a lot more useful. Say you had an application where you had a lot more resistors, it could get quite nasty. So I want to show you that. What we'll do is we'll get what you'll need for this tutorial if you want to follow along. I use for this sort of calculation, Anaconda, which is just type in Python Anaconda and just download it and then open up Spider and you should get what you need. And then you'll end up with something like this. Right, so if we, look at our equation we've got uh, we've got several variables that we need to define vcc and that's five volts we've got vcc we've got rg g equals 10 times 10 to the power of three so to the power of is two stars and times is a single star in python then also the to make a comment which is here to make a comment here where you use this hashtag symbol and that everything after that on that line is a single line comment to make a multi-line comment you use three speech marks until you close it with three speech marks uh, everything there's a multi-line comment so we've got vcc rg and there <laughs> that's all the variables we have so so we've got the vcc over 12 because this equation is on paper and it's actually designed for this then we've made it 12 but in reality we can make it any number so we'll so we'll replace 12 with number of buttons because then we can use this program for any number but number of buttons so num equals uh, for this it's 12 and then we'll have voltage step which is our VCC over 12 just so we don't keep the final equation clean so V and so number of buttons then we'll get our equation so we've got the resistance equals uh, VCC times RG divided by, divided by R, so V step and we'll then that needs to go there times N so that's the resistor number and then we've got a minus RG. So that's our equation. So we've got to be able to loop through for all the values of N. So we can go from one to 12 or say one to the resistor number, the amount of buttons. So for that, you can use a for loop. So for from one, because if you don't specify the one, it'll start at zero and resistor zero doesn't exist so we'll go between one and then we'll go the number of buttons number of buttons plus one is where we'll terminate and the reason we do that is because the for loop will stop iterating through once we reach this number so it'll go through the code come out and as soon as it reaches this number it won't execute the code again so it'll miss out effectively the last number so we add one because if it didn't do 12 we'd only get our 11 resistors rather than the 12. Python like it works on indentation so we'll indent that. Uh, so now we'll replace oh what we'll do I'll make that n so for n in range 1 to 13 that effectively says but it never it doesn't actually calculate for 13 and then we've got the print command print what we'll do is we'll print n mr number equals n and then and then our resistor is 
What's the value equals R? Uh, then we can just run this and it should give us our... So we've got these values been printed out here and it would be nice to see them in killer ohms because these are a bit messy. They don't, they don't come out very nice. So we can now, you can format this of times 10 power minus three, which makes it into killer ohms. What we'll do just to clarify this, and then we'll run that again. I haven't closed this. Run that again. We get our resistor outputs that were the same as last time. So we got our values, you could stop there. We can change our number of buttons to 20 and it'll work the same. We got all our resistor values that we need and we can change it to three and we'll get our resistor values that we need. So that's uh, really useful. You've got like a universal calculator, it doesn't matter how many buttons you've got. So we can make this actually look a little bit nicer. You can use a, like a nicer formatting method. So we can go, print this out again almost so anything in these brackets represent a value um, to the interpreter and then it goes to the format to find that value so we can go n we'll comment that off there we go and we get the same value the good thing about this method is that now what we can do is we can get rid of all these decimal places which make it look messy so we can go so this is effectively saying to one, display only to one decimal place. And then we've got a lot nicer formatted numbers. There's all sorts of other things you can do with this, but this turns out to look okay. A lot better than that to look at. Uh, yeah, that's it. You've got, so now we, you can see how we can use the loop to do our repetitive calculations, which means if this was a bit more complicated and we'd made a mistake, wouldn't have to go back through all of the calculations again. And also we know if this equation's right, then all the answers will be right. We don't have an opportunity to mess up on the on the eleventh resistor because uh, you can have them kind of mistakes. So it's a useful skill to have. I'm going to make my next video on a slightly different circuit, which is essentially the same circuit. It does the same job, slightly different configuration, and I'll show you how the other circuit works, and also I'll show you how it changes the calculation that we can do in Python. All right, cheers, thank you, see ya.